All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the 61 Apache Project. Today's the day. We are going to be attempting the spider walking around on the camera. Today, we are going to be attempting to pull the head off. Today's goal, I'm trying to pull this head off. She's been being lubed up a little bit with penetrating fluid recently. So, um... So what we're gonna do, actually, I am forgetting something. I need to grab something here. Propane blowtorch. Probably gonna need that for today. Let's just get right into the action.
He's a motor filter. It can be hard to know how to support yep. What do I say? That's what if I make things work? What if they don't want my help? That's what, what it is. How do it's I the world filter. The That's why I was right. It still has oil in it. What you have five minutes for? I didn't know that. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another day. We uh, spent some time that night getting the head off. It was late. We had to get some extra tools to get it off. We got that head off. Um, and then coveralls today. We were getting pretty dirty, but we do have the head off now. And that's what I'm going to show you. Um, found some pretty interesting stuff, I will say, but we're going to start with the small stuff and work our way out. So, to start with, find the strap. We got the rocker arms off, which honestly don't look in half bad shape. Those are good. There's your push rods. A couple of those do kind of look bent. Um, but we did end up with a rusted nut and on the head for a head stud. So I had to run out and pick up a set of these. And if you know what these are, they're simply just... Basically just... Get a focus here. A socket with teeth in it that bite into rusted, rounded off nuts, any nut that's more or less damaged, they'll bite into and do it. would be better on a better day. Today's a little overcast and cloudy, so it's hard to see. But you get the gist of what these do. And I'm going to be honest, if you're working on anything old or anything where there's rust or whatnot, these are a lifesaver. These will help you get just about anything that you need out that's rusted. So now, onto the juice. Over here I have my head, and the springs look in decent shape. That's just the front, and you've got obviously your porting and everything for exhaust and intake. And then on the back side over here, you've got the valves. I'm going to move over to a better angle of this. And this is what the valves look like. Keep in mind, this is from a 61 Chevy that has. Um, been sitting for a couple years. Now, they don't look too, too, too bad. Like, a little bit of work and you could get this head functional again, right? If, but, if you notice right there, some of you might be able to tell me what that is. Some of you might be able to deduce it. But that valve stuck open. That valve has something holding it open. Well, this next part's going to make that evident. And if you know why that's there and what... I'll deal with that later. Oops. Um... So, we're going to go cylinder by cylinder. So there's cylinder one. Oh, it's got some fragments in it, but that piston's okay. That's kind of weird, right? Cylinder two. Okay, it's got some liquid in it, but that's penetrating well. But again, what do we see? More fragments of piston. And now we go to cylinder three. No more piston. Piston's gone. Cylinder four. More piston. Cylinder five. Even more piston. And cylinder six, again more piston. So, cylinder three's piston, grenaded. Completely grenaded. 
stuck the valve open and there's piston in every single other cylinder of this engine. Which is kind of impressive. So, my next task here is going to be removing the piston fragments from that cylinder, trying not to drop them. Obviously I'm going to pick up that head and everything, but I've got to pull that cylinder and stuff out of there and look at it. This engine's probably not going to be saveable, but we're, we're going to see. I doubt I'm going to be able to save this engine, but I guess we'll see. The other cylinders don't look too bad on the walls and everything. They're a little, a little iffy. A couple of them have some rust in them, but not enough to really concern me a lot. But might just need a new piston and a slight hole. Who knows? But uh, as of now, from what I can tell, this engine's not staying in this truck. I did plan on V8 swapping it. But I was hoping I'd be able to save this in line six. The story was that it was parked because it was. Well, now we know it was parked in the field because somebody blew up the engine. But it is what it is. We'll move forward. We'll keep going. Um, I'm starting to get some stuff figured out with it. But it seems like a V8 swap is going to be happening sooner than I was expecting kind of hoping for but uh, it's gonna be awesome so I'm gonna go clean that cylinder pull that out and I'll see y'all back here um, yeah so see y'all in a bit uh, ladies and gentlemen welcome back we are I pulled some of the piston out of their block and this is what we got There you go. There's the piston. There's actually this one's a better look. Look at this old school piston from '61. The width for wing lens. Pretty good width there. This is what I'd imagine was at one point in time. Part of, or what was maybe Owing Land? I guess, it, guess it's kind of just gone. But now, this is what we have. Actually, I gotta get in the engine bay for this. That's a Southern Maid swag. All up in the back. And there's the cylinder. And there's looking down on the bottom of it. But there's there's the piston. So it's still connected and as you can see on the sides there. is the sides of the piston are still connected and touching the outside of the cylinder. And then there's just nothing there, obviously, but... So yeah, this engine's... engine's gone. Which is... kind of impressive. But, um... I guess it is what it is. So... It sucks, but it's what we're going to have to deal with. Um, so, what's the plans? We're going to keep moving forward. We're going to cover this engine. Um, and we are going to pull it. Put a V8 in it. And maybe try and get this thing running again, depending on what I feel like. Um... So that's going to be it for 
today's video. I'm going to go ahead and get out here. That's going to do it for today's video of me with this beautiful 1961 Chevy Apache 10. Um, so, I would like to thank you all for coming to watch. And if you're returning from my other videos, or you're wanting to see more of these, um, either check back constantly, weekly, monthly on my channel, or subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know when I post something. But uh, I thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more to come, and your continued support is appreciated. Thank you all, and have a good day.